Hello, I'm Manawiltus, and welcome to another episode, I suppose, of some uh, old school RuneScape. And today, um, well, back to the grind, eh? So here we go. Well, let's zoom out a bit. And guess what we're going to be killing today? That's right, it's seagulls. Classic defense training, look at that. That's some, some fat, some thick defense. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's uh, pretty good. Look at that. Some nice uh, some nice levels. Uh, total level, 247. Bet you never had 247. I'm certain I've never had it before. I'm joking. I... On a... On a... On my main, I've got uh, some, some higher levels. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Let's let's kill some seagulls. Okay, so today I'd like to follow up on what I said yesterday um, from the recording standpoint anyway. I recorded yesterday and I'm recording again today. What I said yesterday is that the Earth, of course, is not a sphere. And how do we know that? We know the Earth is not a sphere because the Earth isn't flat. And you may say, isn't that a, a bit of a contradictory thing to say? If if the Earth isn't flat, then wouldn't that mean that it's a, a sphere or something? But uh, you're missing the point here. I'm not speaking flat in the sense of a plane. All right, I had a bit of a brief interruption there. I had to stop recording for a second, but uh, I'm back on track. All right, here we go. So as I was saying, you may think, what? If the Earth isn't flat, then wouldn't it be spherical? Well, the answer is, if the Earth were flat, then it would be spherical. And you may be saying, well, what do, what do you mean by flat? So as I was saying, flat not in the sense of a plane, but in the sense of perceptually flat. As in, you can go outside uh, in many areas of the world, and you'll see mountains, hills, and valleys. And of course, that means that the Earth isn't flat, because there's mountains, hills, and valleys, at least not in a geometric sense. And therefore, if you then extrapolate to the size of the Earth, then you find out that uh, the Earth is not a sphere because if it's not locally flat, then on a global scale, it can't be a sphere because a sphere is geometrically, okay, get ready for this, geometrically does not, uh, it, it does not have bumps. If it's got a bump, it's not a sphere. There it is. I'm nitpicking, okay? I'm nitpicking. It's it's a, You can call it a globe, you can call it an orb, but you can't call it a sphere because that's just not true, okay? Because if it were flat, then it'd be a sphere. But if it isn't flat, then it obviously can't be a sphere. Okay? <laughs> Maybe the way I'm using this terminology is certainly not... Uh, not in the same discourse as the general debate. Is that the same person as yesterday? I don't know. Flies 1000. Memorize that. Uh, combat level. Uh, actually, I think it might be a different person now that I look at it. But uh, don't know. But uh, all I know is I'm getting some wicked bird. And look at that. Uh, which one's the next one to level up? Hit points, probably. 47 there. 211 on the prayer. Still a ways away. 768 on defense. Yeah, that's going to take a while. But uh, 47, now 46. That's going to be pretty soon. It's going to be... Uh, it's not a one per hit. Sometimes it, it, it's slightly more than one. So, there you go. Man, I. So as I may have said many a time before, 
I honestly uh, like RuneScape HD, not RuneScape Free, RuneScape HD, uh, what came just before RuneScape Free. Um, it it had nice graphics, and it wasn't weird with uh, the combat mechanics. Holy cannoli, evolution of combat. And also, a, a lot of the graphical updates that came around with RuneScape 3, I I didn't like a lot of those. And to be honest, uh, uh, bring back Revenant Wilderness uh, and PvP Worlds. I think that's a much better way to have it than just... Uh, just Revenants in a dungeon and... PvP on every world in the wilderness instead of have PvP everywhere in the whole world on certain worlds and uh, That really I think is a lot better from a gameplay perspective anyway But there you go And what's what's the stats? Twenty six. All right. So next next thing on the menu, Moon Man. Okay, we it's got to be said, Moon Man. Okay. It's a uh, people say it's a racist meme, and it can be a racist meme. It's not always a racist meme. I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. There are many instances where Moon Man is non-racist, and I am very upset that certain people like to extrapolate to every Moon Man meme thinking it's racist when it clearly isn't. Uh, now, of course, there are instances of Moon Man that are racist, so there you go. There you go. Oh, snap. It's getting a bit saucy with my computer fan. Pretty hot in here. The heat is turning up, and I'm sweating. Boy, do you believe me, I am sweating. It is summertime right now. I'm inside, it's air-conditioned, but uh, apparently somebody is messing with my thermostat and has raised it above my sweat threshold, which is uh, pretty bad uh, for me because it means I'm going to be sweaty and smelly, and then whoever did it is going to complain that I'm sweaty and smelly, and I'm just gonna say it I didn't do it, okay? It it was you who did it. It was you. Oh, Alright, man, just just wait a minute. I I'm just gonna finish off the bird. I want my prayer XP. Come on, finish it off. Just two more hits. Don't heal, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. Come on. All right, here we go. That's uh, a pair of shears. Oh, I, oh, that's how I got the money. Last time I was thinking, where did I get the money? And that's how I got it. I got it random event. And look at that, it happened again. I'm I'm making bank, just sitting around, <laughs> not doing anything that actually makes any money in the RuneScape. Well, I guess you could say that getting your skills up does uh, lead to a situation where uh, monetary gain in game anyway come on let's let's be honest we're not doing it now. oh level 14 just one more combat level which might mean maybe five levels overall I don't know I need I need to do a calc on that and you know what I'm not doing the calc uh, even though I I really want to I'm <laughs> I don't want it so bad that I'm actually going to do it uh, and and that's what it means to be lazy it's it if you need to do something or you even may want to do something, but it's just not that far that you're actually going to do it. And you know what? That is kind of shameful. I'm going to be honest. It's uh, not the best. But you know what? We're just going to grind till we get there. It doesn't matter if I find the exact number of levels I need because I'm still gonna grind the same way I'm gonna be honest it's it's not going to be any different so I might as well 
just not look it up because it's going to happen anyway. It's just a matter of time. But what's what's my overall XP? 127,000. Look at that. Yeah, you jealous? I'm pretty sure all the all the big players out there are jealous of my amazing defense play. And get gonna, gonna get to 99 defense in no time. <laughs> probably probably one of the hardest things to train. Um, going defense pure. Because you can't really deal a lot of damage, which means you're not going to get a lot of XP. Or at least the XP gain is very slow, which uh, is pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. There we go. We got it. We got a bird. So, somebody once told me, the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking, well, uh, that just broke down because unfortunately, I am the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> oh no, oh, that, I can't even sing that song seriously. That's pretty bad. Uh, well, not necessarily the sharpest. Uh, it, well, it depends on what you, how you define a shed. Um, as in, I, I may not be the smartest person in the whole world. Okay, I, I admit that I'm not the smartest tool in the shed in the whole, in, in the whole world. But in most groups, people generally consider me to be a pretty smart person, which I think is rather unfortunate because then people expect. Uh, have high expectations from me and they really shouldn't because being smart doesn't mean that you're actually uh, good at doing things unfortunately I, I wish it it worked a different way and I could just be automatically um, the most skilled person uh, but unfortunately it doesn't work that way so that so that that's my advice to all you people out there who are thinking oh I I can't succeed because I'm not smart you're not that's not the problem okay it's not the problem well if you're really 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 dumb then it might be the problem but most people normal level of intelligence it's that's not the problem your intelligence is not the reason why you're not succeeding just saying it just put it out there. a little bit of encouragement i'm not i'm not a hugely successful person at, at least at the time of uh making this video. I hope that changes, but you know what? Chances are it's not gonna. But uh, just uh, being realistic. And, and it's not just for me, just for anybody. Real, making it big is something that very few people do. Because if everybody made it big, then that would really undermine the value of making it big because then obviously no one would really be making it big. And and the only way that could possibly happen where people can make it big and it actually, where everyone can make it big and it actually improves their uh, lifestyle is if uh, there's a, a post-scarcity society, however, that doesn't automatically give everyone uh, the abundance, in which case you need to gain it somehow. And gaining that is when you make it big. However, the number of people that can make it big is unlimited. Um, which, of course, is not possible in a, in an society where there are limits to how much everyone can have and there's a necessity for people to uh, put in certain kinds of work which are of course not all work is equal in value just a, a little life lesson there not all work is equal in value uh, unfortunately which means sometimes Sometimes it's, uh, sometimes you're just never going to make it big. 
And a lot of people nowadays, they don't want to be told that. They want to be told, you can be anything you want, you can follow your dreams, and you'll make it. And I'm here to tell you, no, that's that's not that's not what what works. What you need to do is you need to stand up for your values and and stand by them and stand for truth. And even if you don't end up making it anywhere, even if you end up losing everything, still in the end, you will have done the right thing. And you know what? That's that's a lot better than living your life trying hard to uh, make it big, to gain power, to gain wealth, to to live in a way that just follows your uh, desires. Um, because I, unfortunately, I, I have to disagree with Smash Mouth. Um, does it make sense not to live for fun? It does make sense not to live for fun. If if all you're living for is fun, if fun is not not even if it's all you're living for, if that's your first priority in life, you're probably gonna be a, a massive douchebag. Let's be honest. If you if you value your fun over uh, the good of others, it's gonna end up making a, a pretty rotten personality. Let's be honest here, and and I'm not saying that. Uh, that Smash Mouth has a rotten personality. That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if you take that thought to its logical conclusion, it leads to an end where it that is not always desirable. And therefore, it is a flawed proposition. And, and desirability is also uh, a big question, uh, but uh, a question I'm not prepared to answer today. And here we go. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. He's on the move. Oh, wait, no. It, it was the bird on the move. I thought for a moment somebody, somebody had finally uh, taken the controls, taken, taken the steering wheel. Um taken control of a ship, but no, uh, there's no one at. There's no one there. It's just uh, AFK all day. But what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, it, they're not doing anything. <laughs> that person is not doing anything uh, against the rules, so I can't report. Um, I'm not going to spend my time complaining in in the forums or anything. So uh, there you go. That's just how it is. Life, there you go. If you don't do anything about it, that's just how it stays. And that's how it ends up. And, and there you go. That's just how it is. Man. I think my messages are very uplifting uh, and not depressing in any way. If uh, you are depressed by a message that I have told you, then perhaps you're not looking at the bigger picture. I don't know. That That's just something I said. And maybe it's true. Maybe, maybe I'm just uh, pulling words out of my mouth. Pulling them out. Spewing them forth. Vomiting up regurgitating words and that's all that comes out and and what are you gonna do about that i don't know you're gonna fire me huh <laughs> well jokes on you i'm not your employee you can't fire me what you're gonna advocate for people to fire me you're gonna find me in real life and tell whoever whoever's giving me any money no don't give money to this guy this guy's a terrible person wow what a what a thing to do, just spending your time all day finding people to get angry against and and trying to mess up their lives. And, and you know what, that's one reason why I do not uh, publicize my real life identity. And that's because 
on the internet, I don't really have the base to support myself on the internet anyway. And that means if somebody slanders me in and manages to slander me in real life and to libel me, I don't really have a recourse. In other words, if I can't be hired in real life and I don't have any money coming in from the internet, what am I going to do? The answer is, I guess, just starve. But, uh, well, that's, that's, um, that's a scary prospect, but you know what? Uh, that's, that's how it would have to end up. That's how it would go. Yep. No help for me. There you go. What kind of name is Seagull anyway? Just a Seagull. A gull. It's a, a very interesting word. Not commonly used uh, by a lot of people, but... Uh, You know what? What are you going to do about it? You're going to call up the lawyer? Uh, okay. Speaking of the English language. G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y. How do you pronounce that? That's, that's the big question today. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a minute. Not necessarily a minute. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's not going to be exactly a minute. To answer that question. G-E-O. F-F-R-E-Y. How do you pronounce that? The answer is, of course, Joffrey. And you may say, no, it's Jeffrey. Well, you're wrong, okay? I, I've actually, I'm actually a linguist, if just telling you, um, and saying Jeffrey or uh, Geoffrey instead of Joffrey is uh, all incorrect, um, unless there's a specific context in which it is correct. In other words, if someone literally says actually in my case it's pronounced Jeffrey then okay fine okay that's fine but if if your first response is to say Jeffrey then you're doing it wrong uh, you're not doing English correctly and I need you to pay me royalties for abusing the language that I speak um, and you may say well isn't English your third language why would I have to pay royalties to you, who's not even a native speaker? Well, the answer is uh, because I'm pretentious. That's why um, I am the authority of the English language. And I, I, I own the English language. I can decide which words are correct words, which words are incorrect words, which pronunciation is correct, which one is incorrect. I am the one that decides that. Why? Because I, because I chose to. Okay, that's a responsibility that I am placing. Oh snap! I look. I gained a defense level. That is a responsibility that I am shouldering, a, a burden on my shoulders. And you know what? It's it's not a burden I'm willing to share with just some strangers out there. Okay. And what are you gonna do about it? What, you're going to sue me? You're going to say, you can't use that King's English that way. Well, joke's on you. Um, there's no current uh, reigning king um, over the English language. Okay, that's right. And you may say, isn't there a queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland of which uh, um, England is a country? And you may s and you know what? England is a country, it's not a city, okay, first of all. Second of all, that doesn't mean that she's the authority on the English language, okay? You, you know, it's not It's not that simple. It doesn't work that way. 
I mean, the the queen of the UK and of Jamaica and of many other places is also, uh, or historically has been, the head of the Church of England. And guess what? When's the last time the queen has uh, made a, a major theological statement? Tell me when when that has happened. The answer is, it hasn't, okay? The queen is not the theological mastermind that she needs to be in order to head the Church of England. And that's why the um, Archduke of Canterbury uh, is supposed to do it uh, as well. But uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, there's there's some uh, weird stuff going on nowadays in uh, in the Anglican Communion. Not 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 trying to be mean to Anglicans. I'm just saying that it's it's not always it's not always 100. I've I've got some strong critiques. Uh, which I'm not going to level right now because it now is not the time and place. But I, I, well, I'm going to be honest here. I can critique pretty much anything, anything, anyone. So it, when I say I've got strong critiques, that's not really saying much uh, because uh, you, you can really make a strong critique on anything if, if you get nitpicky enough. So don't take it as if I'm... I'm uh, challenging the Archduke of Canterbury to a theological debate, which I am not doing, okay? I'm not doing that, because number one, there's no way he'd accept from some random guy on YouTube. Number two, you ready for this? Number two, what would he even debate about? There you go. I, I haven't even said what my issue is. And and therefore, there is no issue because I haven't said the issue. Well, there is an issue. There are issues, but I haven't said them. So what's he going to debate me on? He's going to challenge me. Oh, debate on what's the topic of a debate. He can't answer me because he doesn't know what to have a topic of because he doesn't know what we disagree on. There you go. Checkmate. Checkmate, Anglicans. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm just joking around. Just joking around. But, uh, damn. That's some nice music. Classic RuneScape. And how are we doing? Um, fire making uh, is alright. <laughs> I'm not training fire making. Don't know why I look there. What's, what's my next level? Uh, HP is getting pretty pretty close down there uh prayer might be the next one uh, although hp is gonna catch up pretty fast but defense 28 uh once we're at 30 that's adamant and once we're at adamant oh snap that's gonna be some some sweet sweet amazing stuff there here we can we can get some trimmed armor I'm joking. There's no way I can get trimmed armor. It's not in the budget. No way, Jose. I mean, I would if I could, but it's just not going to happen. Well, I don't know. What's what's the cost of trimmed armor nowadays on OSRS? What's the cost? I don't know. But uh, hopefully it's something I can afford. <laughs> well, we'll... Will 1,120 GP do for a set? <laughs> Answer is no. Obviously not. But here we go. Seagulls. Uh, and just killing seagulls. That's instant demonetized on YouTube. Not friendly for most advertisers. All the advertisers, they look at it. Pepsi looks at it. Uh, not enough parades. Um, Coca-Cola looks at it. Uh, where's the product placement? And uh, who else advertises on YouTube? Um, I'm going to say Tesco's. Okay. Tesco's looks at it. What's that? What? What's that banter? It's, it's terrible banter. They, they wouldn't sponsor that. Um, Ikea, where's the furniture? Look at that. 
Does that look like IKEA furniture to you? The answer is no, it doesn't. Okay, where's where's the um, the numbered parts, the layout? Look at that. That's that irregular shape of uh, of a plank here. That is not an IKEA or IKEA or however you want to pronounce it furniture item. The product placement doesn't exist, folks. It just doesn't exist. Um, by the way, uh, if you would like to sponsor me um, with product placement, uh, well, product placement's going to be a bit hard to do since I I don't uh, don't face cam or anything. So maybe not that, but if you'd like to uh, sponsor me, uh, get a shout out for your product, um, please do contact me and uh, I'd be happy to do it. Not gonna lie, uh, I sold out years ago, and I never got above 100 subscribers, <laughs> and I still sold out. Wow. Uh, well, not sold out, okay? Let's, let's be honest here. It's not selling out if you're saying that you're open to making advertisements. Selling out is maybe if people are telling you what to say, and you're not actually saying things because you agree with them. That's what selling out is. Um... That you're just saying things because you're paid and not actually because you believe what you're saying. And that's not something that has happened here. And that's not something I intend to happen here. I will only... Only uh, do an indirect sponsorship. And by indirect, I mean uh, sponsoring something that has nothing to do with the video specifically. I will only do an indirect sponsorship if it is a product that I agree with. Now, for direct sponsorships, if someone pays me to test a product, like a video game or something, or a mic, I'm that's fine. I don't mind because I'm testing something. So if it's a good product, I'll obviously have a good opinion of it. And there you go. It's that simple. That's that's how that's my that's my sponsorship policy. Of course, I also have a Patreon, and I've had it for a long time. That's that's why I said, "Oh, you sold out so long ago." Before you even had fifty subs, before you even had ten subs, oh snap! But then again, nobody can criticize me later for having a Patreon if I already had one from almost the very start. Checkmate uh, YouTube comment section. Check and mate. What are you gonna do? You gonna end? You gonna unpassant me? What is that? What you're gonna do? You gonna you gonna try to try to claim the victory? Well, the answer is no. You can't. It's not possible. Don't even try. Because I've got all the quotes up the wazoo. And and I can quote uh, people that you never even heard of. And you know what? Some of these people you might e even never even care to hear about. So maybe I shouldn't quote them. And you know what? Speaking about quotes, let's go a bit different topic here. Whenever someone quotes something, it's, it's always interesting. Because people will quote famous people as if they have some sort of authority. And oftentimes they don't. Um, uh, one one famous uh, quote that I think is uh, pretty overrated, uh, top ten over overrated quotes of Anna Wiltus. Um, number one, uh, the Holy Roman Empire is neither holy nor Roman nor an empire. I disagree with all points. All points. Okay, holy ever even heard of an investiture controversy. That's why it was called Holy in the first place. Come on, guys. Get your act together. Roman. Have you ever seen the legal system and the structure and the fact that it's an empire in succession to the Roman Empire and it was acknowledged as such? And that many legal documents were written in Latin, the language used by the Romans themselves, okay? Empire, that's that's one where 
there were emperors that held significant amounts of power. And not necessarily due to their external realms, but sometimes even by their political power to influence the other peers of a realm as emperor. So, nitpicking on historical periods where there were weak emperors, which there were a lot of, I won't deny it, doesn't deny the fact that there were many emperors who were pretty strong. But uh, there you go. Because it, if you nitpick that, then how many other empires aren't actually empires? There's a whole list of things that uh, shouldn't count as empires under that under that justification. In addition to that, people who say Byzantine, okay, stop it. If unless you're talking about the city and its people, which uh, were on occasion called Byzantine, uh, even in the Middle Ages. If you're talking about the empire as a whole, Byzantine is just wrong. It's incorrect, it's an anachronism, and it needs to die. Okay, stop it. You can call it the Roman Empire, that's accurate. If you want to use a historiographical term to distinguish it, you can maybe use Eastern Roman, that makes sense. Or you could also use uh, Greco-Roman, because Greek was the official language at uh, a certain point, from a certain point. It's just uh, justifying that. But you cannot call it Byzantine. It has no historiographical value, since even in the time of what people consider the Roman Empire proper, which should also extend to the length of what people generally call the Byzantine Empire as well, due to its uh, continu continuity of uh, existence. People don't refer to the Tetrarchs as ruling a separate empire that's Byzantine if, if the capital is in the town that at some points in history is called Byzantium, but let's be honest, uh, is often called uh, New Rome or Nova Roma, Nova Roma, depending on how you pronounce the V, um, or also at times called uh, Constantinople or Constantinopolis. It's, it's pretty clear that Byzantine is not the correct term to use. So anybody that is using it needs to stop. But there we have it. The bird's dead. And I've got some bones. Look at that. I buried my bones. So I think this is a good place to stop. If anybody would like to collaborate with me, I would always be happy to do it. Uh, just for any reason whatsoever, whatever you want, we'll do it. Uh, we'll make it happen, unless it's smut. We won't make that happen. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll be seeing you all next time on Wiltus Over and Out.